Hello and welcome to Fallout 4. We're back at Spectacle Island and we're going to try and build a lighthouse. So I built that artillery piece using curved concrete walls and I thought this is a nice shape. It's pretty much lighthouse shaped. Let's do something like that. So I started off building a lighthouse. Now what I quickly found was that you could build a spiral staircase using that same technique that I started there in the uh, the artillery bunker, except you go around and you go up and you could go on forever doing that, except, uh, I'm repeating myself, you get so far up and you start banging your head and you can't get anywhere. I'm giving away my secret then for a moment. So uh, I tried using the mod method, the, um, the uh, what's it called, where you can grab everything, yeah and then move things, glitch them. Yep, that's the word I was looking for. Glitch them through surfaces. So my idea is that I've actually got, uh, if I can get under there, you see a stairwell in there? Yep. So my idea was to glitch it onto the top of the other one where it wouldn't go before. But that was a complete fail as well. There's nothing I could do to get that to fit on there. So I gave up, okay? I quit. And instead, I went for square and round pieces. Ta-da! Working lighthouse. As you can see, not perfect because of those square pieces in the middle. I'd have preferred just doing the round, but that just wasn't achievable with this shape and size of curve. Uh, <coughs> any clever modders out there want to give us a wider curve and some sort of spiral staircase piece that would be lovely in the meantime i'm going to show you how to build this lighthouse using uh, some tight stairways concrete corners and ends and light boxes so that's the plan hold tight while i have a nap and take us to daytime so i've chosen this nice site here on the other side of spectacle island to build our lighthouse now you'll see I've still got the other one in the background there and that's the one I'm going to keep after a bit of editing to, I haven't finished the light boxes on the other side yet but we'll build one here just to show you through that process for those who are interested so I'm going to start the build with some nice concrete flooring so what you want is these block floors whoops, that's the one because uh, you can sync that to the height you prefer and it quite looks nice when it's partially sunk into some into the ground okay it just has a nice appearance to it so we're going to have four of these large flooring blocks just to kick us off uh, actually it's, let's give us six I think I'm trying to line them up all the same way just for the sake of a nice appearance now from that I started to build with square and round walls and I'm using the concrete staircases like so and what you do then is you get this flooring and you get the small curved piece bring that in and just snap it into the stairwell you can see how this is going now we get the other piece of stairs bring it in and click now we go up now what you would want to watch out for is falling because I'm not wearing any power armor you could use a power arm frame while you're doing this and then you needn't worry about falling at all there's some other pieces of armor that protect against falling as well actually I forgot what they are right now uh, but you can get those if you're worried about it I'm just going to just step a little more carefully and avoid the fall entirely wherever I can so all you need to do is, is repeat this process until you've got a stairwell that's as high as you want your lighthouse to be and I think the other one is uh, six floors you know one two three four five six uh, seven okay don't think I'll bother going that high just for this one just demonstration purposes after all and you'll notice that so far I've built no walls and I'm not going to for a while
One more. One more. Put all the stairs in. And we'll start off the floor. So, I can't remember how tall the actual lighthouse, um, which is way over there at the distance. You can just see it peeking over the top. I can't remember the height of that one, uh, but uh, I've gone for, I think, five floors here. So now we'll go down. That small drop isn't going to be an issue. Nearly lost it. Yep, there we go. I've survived it. <coughs> let's, uh, excuse me, let's wall up. Got a little froggy throat. So we'll want those curved pieces, and you'll find that they are quite happy to snap on to the curved wall, which is lovely. And then we want our straight pieces in, and I want a door at the bottom. Come on. That's not right at all. So, something's wrong that it wants to lean out that way. Let's have a look what I've done wrong here. There we go. I hadn't snapped it properly onto the stairwell. Marvellous. Let's just nip up, have a look. There we go, that's not straight either. And we're in. Grab the next set of curved walls. Now, on the second story, put the curves on top of the others. And you'll just see, if you look carefully, it snaps in at the height of the curved floor we put at the top of the stairs and protrudes into it, glitches into the lower walls. So the heights aren't exactly what they would be if you were doing a straightforward build. Which I thought was very interesting. So I'm just going to put those in here and you'll see that it doesn't quite fit. So you just grab it again, give it a little nudge and it'll go in. Same on the other side. I will bring it up. <laughs> yeah, this is slightly frustrating. Hmm. There it is. There it is. Come on better. Ah, and I was bound to fall out. So that, that happened quite a lot in the big build there, uh, falling off the side. So you can put yourself some scaffolding up. I'll show you about that in a moment. That's quite fun. Uh, but in the meantime, let's get these other curved walls in. Snap those into place. And you've seen straight away that they don't fit the wall. The Height, so you just click them again and they'll drop in. Okay, next set. Pum, 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 pum. This is going to be a little repetitive, I'm afraid, uh, because basically what I'm going to do is continually drop in square and curved walls until we get to the top. So, uh, is there anything that will make this more interesting? Not really. Not really. Yeah, and uh, I tried all of this with that other tower. The other lighthouse tower. And my original top of it was the greenhouse pieces from the barn workshop. I'll show you those. Uh, 
they look kind of greenhousey. There you go. This is the sort of thing. You can see I use six panels to build around, uh, if you could imagine it up there. Okay. But of course, it's square, which means it wouldn't curve around those lovely end pieces. And it was ugly. Um, <clears throat> I built half of it on the ground, glitched it to a post, and carried it all the way up the stairs to fit it in. And I still couldn't get anything I was happy with. And then, of course, how do you light it? There was no interesting way to light it, and uh, I had I had searchlights from the um, the weapons. Oh gosh, my memory. Look here, the um, these turrets. Okay, so from the turrets, I was using initially a bunch of these. Okay, and they sweep from side to side. So I had the moving light that you would have in a lighthouse, but uh, way up there, shining out, they didn't really produce enough light. So that was a no-go, and I'm thinking, well, what am I going to do instead? And um, I finally remembered the light blocks, the light boxes. I previously used them for uh, medical bays, for just random um, sort of, I was thinking, kind of x-ray machine things they might have been. Uh, and you'll, you'll see those in my Vault 88 build when I finally get around to showing you a tour of that, because it's pretty huge. It's going to take a good hour. Uh, unless I do it in two parts to show that. So at the moment I've been avoiding it just because it's going to take too long. But um, it's a nice build and I will get around to let me have a look around that for any of you. Well, have I got another floor above this one? One more. Uh, but it, so that's where I was using the light boxes previously. I remembered about them here and used them to create one minute, one minute. Fabulous. Use them to create that effect over there that you see now. Uh, and in darkness, it just actually flash on and off. So we are at the last level. And I'm thinking, uh, I haven't used any windows this time. But previously, I used on the, on the other one. You can just make out I used two sets of windows. And I'm going to replace the lower one. Uh, because that's not very good in a high sea storm. Uh, I don't know if you know, if uh, those of you in the UK, you guys in the States and around the world elsewhere, there's uh, a tiny little fishing village in Cornwall called Kingsport, and they have uh, they had a big storm there a while back. Um, and you can, if you go and look, and you can find images of it online. You see just the height of the waves. Um, it would certainly swamp even the windows on that other lighthouse I built that seem to be quite high up. Come on, just snap in there, will you? Oh, better. That doesn't look right. I'm going to have a look at it from up there. So um, my intention now having remembered about that is to remove those lower windows and I don't think the waves uh, quite get up to the high on. Come on. Nothing's ever easy is it? Just match. Right, bear with me here. I'm going to force it. Here's a full piece and so there you see it made it just enough difference in how the machine perceives the height oh it did for a moment <laughs> oh come on Bear with me. Let's just do so. I'm just going to stick this other bit of floor in for a moment and then I'll just go over here and fiddle with this again. Sometimes just change it. There. Changing your point of view makes all the difference. So, put some flooring in. There's no point in putting another square of floor there because I'll have the same issue I did with the attempt on the, on 
a circular lighthouse in that you end up I may as well show you you end up knocking your head ow 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 and you're not going through there okay so that's exactly what was going on <coughs> when I did the circular lighthouse there was just not enough room to create a worthwhile floor so here it is we've gone uh, a fair distance up you may not want to jump that far so now you've got to build your light boxes by the way on the other one there I've got power lines running out the outside uh, so I might show you how I go around that as well so for safety because I'm going to be working on the edge I don't want to be falling off I'm just going to snap some not floors they would go on snap some ceilings on here just so I can walk out and these will all come off later on this is just scaffolding if you like so I can safely work beyond the edge of the ceiling and what we want are the light boxes and I've completely forgotten where they are power miscellaneous superb light boxes so they don't want to be on anything other than the floor but you can just put these in how many do you want? Missed. That's rushing, you see. Okay. I'm just going to do a few of these for now out and away and see what we're there thought I messed up pick those and put those away so now you're gonna have to power them all so <coughs> throw away that floor now I won't need to do anything on that side again and you just need to connect them up so that I found tricky as well and it's gonna be boring if you'd have to sit through my repeatedly connecting the various light boxes so you're going to need lots of copper the last one missed there you go lots of copper wire that one hasn't connected either so that every single set is connected to the other now I actually set the others uh, I've lost them there they are those are actually set up in banks of two so these two would be connected together along with the others underneath it and then these two with those and then these two and then those two so I'd have intermittent s pairs okay so it's intermittent pairs and then I wired them up to flash separately uh, and I'm going to try and do much the same thing so how I did that was again in power miscellaneous and a terminal so this terminal is going to wire to set one I'm missing those two together, then these two together, skip two, those two work together, and these last two also go to the terminal, okay? And I'm going to use uh, an interval switch. Interval, interval, there it is. So this isn't quite the layout I've got on the other side but you could work work out the difference a bit when we get get back over there. I've dropped the stairs somehow. No, I just fell down the gap. No, I did indeed delete my own stairway. Let's just pop that back in there. Okay, so watch that edge. Now then, the other intermittent pairs those two shouldn't be joined together better these other intermittent pairs will also have a power switch interval but this one isn't connected to the uh, 
can't do this on talk at the same time it seems is not connected one two bear with me here thinking I'm talking so hard uh, is not connected to the terminal and the reason for that is going to become clear just stick that up there and from this one to this one which is going to reach one two three and those two oh, that's where I've done it wrong here let's take that out two two put those back together this one goes on the terminal and that last one goes up there okay let's get out <coughs> so you could put lighting inside here um, Let's have a look at the sort of thing I was doing on the other one. I was using these nice industrial wall lights. Okay, and uh, right now it's not powering up, but you'll notice shortly that it will. Because just uh, what I'm going to do is build some scaffolding up there and power it using one of the larger... Uh, generators that here we go so I'll just just for example going to stick a generator on here there is and I'll box it in at a later date or I would if I was going to keep this which as I've already said is not likely I already have a green um, greenhouse lighthouse why do I want another one so I run I can't get any higher up oh nice. What you want to do then is just run some wires to the generator and you'll notice that lights will come on inside. So you can put them uh, up the walls and they'll happily come on now that we've run that wiring up the outside of the lighthouse. But I can't get all the way up from here. So let's build a scaffolding that will allow me to do it. So I'm, I notice I'm going quite a bit further back because of the way I like to build scaffolding to save constantly um, scrapping and rebuilding the same thing. I've got a bunch of these steps that nicely fit together and allow me to get quite high. On my builds. So, where is that other? There you are. So, I'm going to grab another <coughs> power conduit there. You've really got to be square on to get these to fit the way you'd really like them to. So I've got power all the way up, running on to my terminal, and I'm just going to enter the terminal, turn on the interval switch, choose an on time of three seconds, and missed it an off time of two seconds okay that's a fairly arbitrary decision I made and you choose the timing that seems to fit for you so if you just look over on the front um, they're not going off ah <coughs> ouch so 
I built the scaffold in the wrong side. I'm looking at my lights and I'm not noticing the sequence running properly for some reason. Ah! Yes, they are. You would just make them flicker. We need it darker, don't we? To actually see that in process. So I'm just going to nip up here, pull my uh, scaffolding out, and then I'll wait for night time and show you the working light sequence. Okay, so we're here in darkness and we see that <coughs> in fact my wiring wasn't very good. Uh, I've missed out a couple of the connections or something's not quite right there but the lights are flickering on and off and if I'd paid a bit more time and attention to it we would have had them like this. Just going to run around the other side because as I said earlier I haven't put the light box on the other two walls yet but you can see we have a nice flicker on the lights on the other lighthouse. Okay, it's not perfect. I'm sure with a bit more playing around we can have a better sequence of lights, maybe making it look like they rotate around the grid. It just needs a bit of playing and poking at that I haven't taken time with yet. Uh, but this is a process to build yourself a nice little lighthouse for your island community which is growing and we'll come back and look at that at a later date so there you go build a lighthouse enjoy it and enjoy your apocalypse bye for now